So what we're going to go over here are reports and therms and how they're used. If you're coming to therms from another security software, reports and therms may be a little bit different than what you're used to. If you're new to using security software, then this overview of reports and therms is going to be a new, just generally a new concept for you. So reports and therms are a collection of information, uh, primarily made up of report entries. You can think of a report uh, as being many things. And depending on how your company is going to use reports, they can be used for different things such as a DAR or shift log, a firewatch log, a camera monitoring log, or you can even have static reports such as uh, an on-duty injury report or a vehicle accident report. So what we're going to walk through here is one of the basic report types that actually comes with therms and is built in. This is named as a location report and it is one of the configuration options that you can activate in the built-in menu. In another tutorial, we actually cover configuring and customizing report types. So in my demo account here, I already have the location report type ready to go. So I click new report, I'm gonna select location, and location actually lets me select a location for this report. So I'm gonna pick the dropdown, and I have my Acme Business Complex. It gives me a quick summary of the report I'm about to create. And there we go. I've just created my first report and I have a few options. I see add entry, I see complete, and I've also got a menu drop down up here in the corner. So I'll walk through this information real quick. Every report is assigned a unique ID and that's what this ID is here. That's a short unique ID that can be used for referencing reports if you're handing out uh, a report number to somebody for reference later. Uh, the report type is listed here and like we said this is a location report and then we have the date which it, today is Tuesday November 12th. I have contributors. These are any users that actually contribute to this report and if more than one user adds report entries or makes comments on this report their names will be listed here automatically. And then we have a status of the report. And right now this report is in progress because I just created it. So we'll get into the life cycle of reports uh, and kind of the different statuses that they can be in uh, towards the end of this video. Right now I just want to kind of go through how we would add a report entry. So I'm going to click this add entry button here. Now I have a few options. I've got a general report entry, a foot patrol report entry, and a vehicle patrol put, uh, report entry. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the general report entry. So kind of how this report can be used in one way is it can be used as a DAR shift log. And you don't have to follow this pattern, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So let's pretend that we're working as a security officer at Acme Business Complex. And I arrive for work. I'm going to work a three-hour shift, and I started at 1400. I'm the security officer, so I would type in my report entry here. Arrived on site. And then I can save that report entry. So we see here, we have a summary of the report entries. And then this is the actual report entry that was just created. If I hover over this, it'll tell me that it was created at a specific time. That's very useful. If this report entry was actually changed by anybody uh, or a different user, it'll show me their names and what time it was changed here. So. I'm a security officer working at this Acme business complex and I'm going to add an entry for every hour. So I will go back and I will select the general entry and I can say patrolled exterior of complex all clear and I can save that report entry. What I want to do is put this for 1500 and save that. So now I've got two report entries. I have my 1400 entry arrived on site and then I have my 1500 entry. Um, so let's use a different type of report entry. So I'm gonna actually use a, a foot patrol entry. And I'm gonna say this one is from between 1500 and 1600.
So what I'm explaining here is my start time and end time of my foot patrol and what I did during this foot patrol. Now we have activity types. These are very useful for tagging report entries. So let's say we saw some vandalism. I actually don't have any activity types in here right now. This is my demo account. So I can't demonstrate that. But if you did have activity types, for example, vandalism or uh, broken glass or uh, a damaged vehicle, whatever activity types your organization has used, you can enter those here. So I'll skip that for now. I'm going to save this report entry. And now I have an entry for 1500 to 1600. And that's titled Foot Patrol. So that's the end of my shift as a security officer working this Acme business complex. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click complete. I'm prompted here to make sure that I've entered all the information for the report and I have, so I'm going to click complete and that's it. I've just entered a report for my shift and I've completed it. I'm going to go ahead and click back on this report here and go back into it. It looks a little bit different. Now I don't have the option to change these report entries. Before there was an edit button and I also had my add entries and complete. So now I see the status is complete on this report. If I go up here into the drop down, I can select status history. And this will give me some timestamps. And this is the time that the report was created. And this is the time that the report was completed. So depending on your report configuration, this can actually change a little bit. Um, so for the most simple example of reports, there's in progress and complete. There are some more states that a report can be in, and we'll cover those in another video where we go over requiring reports for review and approval and either approving or rejecting reports to kick them back to a security officer, say uh, he had some incorrect spelling or he forgot to enter some information. We'll also cover how to create uh, custom reports with the drag and drop builder, and we'll go into some more details about report entries. So that's it. This is just a general overview of kind of what a report is and a very simple example of how it can be used.